Vertical engine drives can be pretty complex, especially when an engine is spinning in this direction. How do you get it to spin in this direction? That's the big question mark. How do you do it? Well, most people would tell you to just go and work with the system like a horizontal engine and stop work. It's not even playing with a vertical engine because all you have to do is bolt this baby in place and away you go. I would agree it's relatively easier to use a horizontal engine, but if all you have is a vertical engine, then by all means use it. The question is, how do you actually do that? Well, one way is to take the engine and actually spin it aside. As we've discussed before, that's pretty expensive because there's a lot of internal modifications that take a lot of time and a lot of dollars. So you're eating up a lot of time trying to figure out this thing and you're eating up a lot of dollars just to spin the engine on its side. The other downside is you still have oil issues. How in the world do you fill it with oil, especially when the oil filler is way down here? So you have a lot of things to contend with. Another drive system which people have suggested is using a twisted belt drive where the rear tire is in this back general area and then the vertical engine drive system shown here uh, drives a twisted belt drive. Trouble is that you have tracking issues and most especially you burn up belts and the other issue too which most people overlook is that you have ratio issues major big time ratio issues. What that means is that your engine's going to stall and burn belts a lot easier and that will end up being very costly so the question is what do you do? Well there's another method which uses a gearbox. Trouble is that this is really heavy. It's heavy, it's awkward, and it's expensive you'll end up spending a lot more money than you want to trying to get this system to work. Being heavy it eats up a lot of the performance that you want on the go-kart so you're still asking the question how do you do it? What are you supposed to do to get this to work? Well in the go-kart building series 202 book we show you how to take a, horse, a vertical engine and put it in your go-kart so that you have the center of gravity and the optimum location still. You have uh, this relatively easy maintenance. It's low cost. It's uh, less than 50 bucks. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put it together. We, put to, we show you all the instructions. There's actually three different methods to do it and we show you all the instructions of how to put it together. We also have on our web page an engineering toolkit which actually has programs that show you how to set up the ratios for your drive system. Those are pretty critical. We also do show you how to do that in the uh, go-kart building 202 course. If you would like to know how to build a complete glow cart so that you know where the center of gravity and all that fun stuff is. We show you how to do that in the go kart building bundle. Go kart mega bundle actually has everything, including go kart plans and go kart uh, like 11 ebooks. So I would suggest you take advantage of these books while they last. Uh, 